In the unpredictable realm of politics, the blame game frequently serves as a convenient tool for shifting attention and scapegoating opponents. Such maneuvers often spark both outrage and incredulity. The recent spectacle featuring Zimbabwe's ruling party, ZANU PF, pointing the finger at opposition leader advocate Nelson Chamisa for the national football team's defeat by South Africa's Bafana Bafana encapsulates this phenomenon vividly. The Zimbabwe Warriors' disappointing 1-3 loss to Bafana Bafana yesterday left many fans disheartened and eager for explanations. However, instead of introspection or constructive analysis, ZANU-PF Patriots opted for an unexpected turn of events. Their public expression of frustration took the form of a direct attack on advocate Nelson Chamisa. The simplistic and inflammatory slogan, Pazi na Chamisa next a double exclamation mark, reverberated through the public sphere, sparking considerable controversy. The decision to blame a political figure for a national sports team's defeat underscores a troubling trend in Zimbabwean politics, a trend where responsibility is deflected rather than assumed. While it is not uncommon for sports outcomes to evoke strong emotions, the injection of partisan politics into the realm of athletics blurs lines and risks undermining the spirit of unity and sportsmanship that sports should ideally embody. The timing and nature of ZANU-PF's accusations against Tumisa raise questions about the motives behind such actions. Is this a genuine belief in the opposition leader's influence over football outcomes? A diversionary tactic to shift attention from other pressing national issues? Or simply a reflection of the increasingly polarized political landscape in the country? The ramifications of such politicization extend beyond the bounds of a football match. By intertwining sports with politics in this manner, the ruling party sets a precedent that could corrode the integrity of sports as an arena for fair competition and national pride. The spectacle of ZANU-PF Patriots, chanting slogans against Tumisa in response to a football defeat exemplifies the erosion of boundaries that should exist between politics and sports. In a healthy democracy, political parties should engage in constructive dialogue, address substantive issues, and demonstrate accountability to the public. One political analyst observed, using a sports defeat as a platform for partisan attacks not only trivializes the significance of the game, but also diminishes the credibility of the accusers.